Hello everyone and welcome to RO Navigation. So to start, I'm going to collapse my left navigation bar by clicking on the hamburger icon so I can have more room to work on a repair order. Now if you're using the list view on your job board, to jump into a repair order you can click into the line item or you can click on the repair order number. If you are using the column view, you would just click anywhere within the tile to jump into repair order number 82. So now that we're in the repair order, in the upper left corner in the blue header we have the repair order number, we have a customer's name, year, make and model, and you do have an icon of a key tag intended just for that. So if you're tagging keys with cars, it's a great place for it. You can put any information that you need to be reminded what's going on with this. If we pan further towards the right, you have the odometer reading in and out. Then if we pan back to the left, you'll notice that there are five different tabs, five phases of the repair order. So it will throw you in the summary tab when you first create it. And here in the summary tab is good information about the vehicle and the customer. So here we have lifetime stats. How many times has this customer been here? How much money have they spent with us? Down below we have an activity feed which documents anyone changing things. So you can see what Daniel has done to the repair order. We can also see what the technician has done and uh, anyone else who's been in this repair order. You also have job history. So here this is just pertaining to this vehicle. You can see all the work approved or declined right here within the summary tab. The next tab is the inspection tab. Now this is where the technician would work doing the digital vehicle inspection and diagnosing concerns that the customer may have. So here we have vehicle issues. To the right the technician has wrote their diagnostics and down below we added a DVI so the technician can add photographs, they can draw on the photographs and they could put good documentation to help the customer buy any repairs that we're offering. Once the technician is done, they can hit the Mark Complete button and the advisor would get a notification that it's time to start building this repair order. So we would jump into the next tab called Estimates. Technicians by default don't have the Estimate tab unless you grant them access to it. But your advisors do. So here we have our main concerns, technician notes, all the findings from the digital vehicle inspection. Then here we have a build estimate button where we can add a job using the labor guide. We can add a can job. We can add a brand new job from scratch. We can search any kind of maintenances with our maintenance schedule. We can add sublets. We can add a fee or a discount. So you don't want to discount just jobs. You can discount the entire repair order using this tool here. You also notice underneath the odometer reading you have a profitability analyst button. This is a great way to make sure that we're profitable before we send this out for approvals. So here we could track it down by labor profits, parts profits, but out the door we're doing 54%. You could do it by jobs or you could do it by technicians if you have multiple technicians on the repair order. If everything looks good and we're okay with 54% profit, I'm going to return the repair order where I could build more jobs or I could beef up any of the retail prices to get more profit. So once we get approvals, we're going to order parts. And once the parts arrive, we're going to notify the technician and they're going to perform these repairs. So the technician would go into work in progress. Here we can see they're in progress or not. We can see jobs they've completed and we do have a timeline here. It will give them good information if this part has a core gives them the parts so they know what part goes on it and they'll tell them how many hours they're getting for the labor. We also have an area where you can send comments. So the technician C said hey you got the wrong part but I messaged back no it didn't you took the wrong part. So there is a way to communicate with your technicians via the work in progress tab. Once all the jobs are complete your advisor wants to hit the complete work button. By doing this they can update the odometer reading they can notify the customer via email or text message and they could decide when the technician is going to be paid for this repair order. We had confirm. Now this repair order is no longer in the work in progress tab of the repair order. It is now in the completed column. So we're just waiting for Frank to come and pick up. So when they're here, we're going to jump into the last phase called payments. 
Here we can decide to take a cash payment, checks, you can take a credit card. Other is awesome because you can track it however you want. If you have a gift card, if it's a fleet card, if you're doing easy pay, if it's a write off, this will all be set up in shop settings so you can take these payments. Now, if you're sending this to AR, he still owes us $250. Maybe the extended warranty is going to pay for this. We could send it to AR right from here. Here, these are the payments that we've taken. These are completed transactions. If we needed to refund any of this amount, we would hit the three dots. Here we can void, we can refund, or we can view the invoice right from here. Since he owes us $250, I want to send it to AR. Complete it. And now this repair order is completely done. You can print it out. If the customer wants a copy. Or you can send it to them via email or text message. You can send the estimate, the inspection, or the invoice. And then if you do have tech message set up, you can message back and forth two-way. That's it. That's RO Navigating. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.